Have you ever gone into something with really low expectations and was completely surprised? That happened to us today. We are going to tell you what surprised us, how to get from the port to the ruins and back on a budget, and buyer beware. When we did our research for Ephesus, Turkey, we saw so many mixed reviews and quite a few negative comments surrounding the people in this port. Our expectations were really low when we went into this and thinking that we might stay very long. But boy, were we wrong. The challenge with Ephesus was the reviews were all over the place. You had some that were really positive, but mostly negative. So I was actually a little intimidated by this port. And the other thing that was a challenge is there wasn't a lot of information on how to get from the port into the city of Ephesus. And that is something we had to figure out. And I think we did a very good job. In fact, we were very nervous about, hey, were we going to take like the public bus and only spend like six euros? Or were we going to do a taxi? So we decided to get to not set an alarm again, which has been nice to just kind of take it easy. And we ended up getting off the ship around 1030 in the morning. But again, all the excursion groups had already gone. So we just walked right off. There was no crowds. There was nobody there. And what really, really surprised me was the port is very beautiful. It's very picturesque. There are these beautiful colored houses on the hillside, beautiful signage. It, it was very nice. So as soon as we exit the terminal area, you know, obviously there's a lot of shops and everything in there, but we saw the taxis right across the street. We made sure we walked past all the people trying to grab a taxi. I just feel like these people, I don't want to say they're desperate, but I wanted to see if there was a taxi stand and go to the taxi and see how much there was. Well, on our way there, a gentleman was trying to bring us into his cafe. It was on the water, cool. But he was very friendly and we just decided to ask him like, hey, what's the best way to get there via taxi? And apparently he had a friend. So he kind of brought us right down the little alley towards his cafe and to his friend's travel agency. It was only a couple of doors down from the sidewalk. So we felt okay following him. And I do a lot of how does my gut feel about certain situations and people? And I, I wasn't uncomfortable. So we followed him and just were surprised that, hey, it's a legit travel agency. <laughs> I figure a place that has like an actual shop and is there full time all day, every day, it's probably fairly legit, right? So we sat down and we talked to the owner's son who spoke very good English. And we asked him about how much it would be. And he said 80 euros and we negotiated a price down to 60 euros. Well, that 60 euros, he did offer like if we wanted an audio version of the tour or a tour guide. And we were we were very adamant. We just, we just wanted to do it by ourselves. We simply wanted the guarantee of drop off and pick up and all that just so that we wouldn't have to worry about not getting back to the ship on time. And of course he asked how we are gonna pay. Because if you pay in straight euros or cash, you might get a little bit of a better price. But we're paying with Visa, not Amex. Amex would be a higher price. So he gave us that price. And what really made us feel comfortable is that he offered, hey, you don't have to pay until after you're done. That way we know that we're gonna get picked up. And we negotiated a time of being able to stay at the ancient ruins for 90 minutes. So at a regular pace, the ruins should take roughly 50 minutes. So we felt we had plenty of time after having done it with the 90 minutes. We could have used a teensy bit more time, maybe only about 15, 20 more minutes to finish. Just bear that in mind because it is a lot of people to navigate. There's also this full immersion thing that you can do at the end. Uh, which we weren't interested in at all, but you might be. So if you want to do that, I would allow even more time. Apparently it's a virtual reality experience of going back in time of like you're really actually there. So this travel agency um, is a family owned business and it seemed as if every family member had some role in the business, which was nice. And it, they, you know, even the mom drives the taxi, which I thought was pretty cool. 
So once we agreed on our 60 euro price, we were very politely walked all the way down to where the taxi was going to pick us up. He placed us in the taxi, talked to our driver, and relayed our what we were going to do and what exactly we wanted, and off we went. Now, I have raw footage of all the negotiation as well. If you'd like to see that, please look in the description below. Now, Mrs. Tips, of course, puts the address in the Google Maps, and we are following along to make sure that we're going the right direction and that it should only take about 30 minutes. Now, something that we learned from other travelers and the reviews and research that we did is that often, if you just pick up a random cab or go even go through a cab company, they will often drop you at the exit of the Ephesus ruins, which means you have to essentially double back. They'll let you in, but you gotta walk all the way to the beginning and come all the way back through it just to get out of it, which after having done it would be a lot of work and not worth it. We were very politely dropped off at the entrance, which is the proper way to go, and picked up at the exit. And to that point, I said about 30 minutes because it was a little less than 30 minutes to get to the exit, but a little bit more than 30 minutes to be dropped off at the very beginning. And once there, the cab driver gave us his business card and said he was going to be waiting there, but if we didn't see him or whatnot, we could ask a police officer to call for him or find a local and we could you know, call him and let him know that we are ready to be picked up. Now, the only thing that the 60 euros didn't include was our ticket admission, and we knew that and they let us know it's about 14 euros each. And I saw that, hey, you could pay cash in liras. We didn't get any liras, we just had euros and our Visa credit card. So we paid in Visa. Now they charge it in liras, but make sure you have a credit card with no foreign transaction fees, like my favorite Southwest credit card or anyone that you have that's zero transaction fee. Have that be your primary use. And everywhere we went, they were negotiating and talking about using euros. No one really ever asked for lira. And so just bear that in mind. And as he said, use Visa. They have this big thing about not using Amex for whatever reason, but just bear that in mind. Now, the other thing that we learned from our lovely new friends at the travel agency is that we, we had an interest in going to see um, one of the ruins at Artemis and he very politely said, well, there's not really a lot left, that it had been pretty much decim decimated over time and that it really wasn't worth it. And he showed us a picture of it in one of his travel agency books. And sure enough, pretty much nothing, which saved us some time and some money. So that was another like, well, this was good advice. Glad we didn't waste time going here. Now there is a lot to see and a lot to read. So we took a lot of pictures, a lot of video footage, which once again, you can see in the link in the description below. The highlight of course, that we want to see was the amphitheater of where Paul addressed the church of Ephesus. So let's pause to explain a few things. It is a well-known trait that the Turkish merchants try very hard to lure you into their shops into cabs in order to close a deal it is a cultural thing and not really meant to be malicious in any way often it kind of was a funny little banter back and forth negotiating on ridiculous little tchotchkes and items like that but just it's really just being mindful it's again it's not meant to be a mean or like someone's gonna hurt you thing it's just a cultural thing the owner of the travel agency was very calm and reassuring that he would make sure that we were taken care of and not to worry. We were working with his son, and as we said, it is a family business. We felt very comfortable. We never felt like someone was trying to get one over on us or, or anything like that. You have to kind of use your own judgment in the way that you feel in that particular situation. And of course, our own judgment came into play later on after we were done shopping, in particular for jewelry. But we'll talk more about that later. So let's talk about the pathway and the ruins themselves. So as you're going through the ruins of Ephesus, again, as we've been the theme of this trip, very slippery, again, very uneven pathways, lots of slick marble, not as bad as we had in Athens, but again, 
wear good shoes. And what we found, again, the theme, if you go into the little walkways and alcoves off to the left and to the right, you often get better pictures. Everyone stays on the main pathway. Veer off into these little alcoves. I can't stress that enough. It's, it's the theme of the entire trip so far is at the end and off to the side are the best pictures and you're not trying to get that favorite Instagram photo. And if you have Instagram, you should probably post some of these photos. If I did, I would, but I don't. So we got to see all of the iconic pictures that you see online. And again, off to the side, we kind of got some of the better shots of these pictures and everyone was trying to get the picture. There you'll have plenty of chances, I promise. One of the best tools to get these pictures, honestly, has been this DJI Osmo Gimbal. I'll have it linked in the description below, but it's like a glorified long selfie stick. Uh, it also has a tripod and then it balances the camera or your iPhone or whatever phone you're using real easily on it and it's very stable. Now I don't get anything out of it currently, but before I became a content creator, I wish I had one of these. So if you want a good picture, a glorified selfie stick for about 150 US dollars, you can get a DJI Osmo Gimbal. It is fantastic and I just wish I would have had one of these a long time ago. I have been very anti-selfie stick, but I will tell you the best pictures of me and him together at a lot of these sites where it is extremely crowded came from using this device. I'm now for it. Anyway, let's get back to the ruins. <laughs> so upon ex exiting the ruins, you are brought through like a little small bazaar area offering souvenirs and all the fun things and drinks and things like that. But we went straight to the parking lot because we wanted to make sure that our our lovely taxi driver was still there and waiting for us and sure enough we found his taxi parked and waiting for us but he was not in it but a fellow cab driver asked us if he wanted if we wanted him to call our driver and just let him know that we were there so we handed him the business card that we got from the driver he very quickly called and said we were there and sure enough here he comes just like he promised and if you're getting any value out of this, please be sure to like and subscribe. It lets YouTube know to share this with other people just like you. Let us know in the comments below. Do you self-guide most tours or do you go through the cruise line? On the way back, he purposely drove us along the coastline. He could have taken the other way, which would have been a little bit shorter, but this way had amazing views. We also got to know that, hey, there's some other cool things that we can do when we, when we come back. There's this little safari, which, okay, probably not gonna do a safari park, right? But there's this big water slide or water park place. That might be kind of cool. And some beautiful views of the coastline along with our ship. And lots of like private beach clubs and five-star resorts that we are definitely going to look into to see if we could do a day pass. We saw a Doubletree, a Ramada, and other hotels that were five-star hotels. Not sure if that's in our budget yet, but maybe it is because it is Turkey. The other, th and again, he did this for no extra money. Let's be clear on that. This was simply, he was trying to be so sweet and show us some different sites. He offered to take us to some other places for only four euros more. So take in a place to watch how rugs are being made. But we weren't into that. We weren't going to be sold anything. And we wanted to have time to port jump. So if you want to do something else such as the House of the Virgin Mary, I'm sure it wouldn't cost too much more than the four euros or the 60 euros total that we spent for our transportation. And we will include a picture of our particular cab driver's business card and things like that because he he was so sweet and he definitely wanted us to come back and call him directly and he would come get us again. I will say his English was okay, but he made a strong effort to communicate with us well and we really understood each other just fine. Like telling us to take a picture of the side of his cab. So we had the cab number 11 on the side of his cab that we were easily able to locate in the parking lot. So now that our excursion is coming to a complete end, we still had to pay for it. And since we were paying with a Visa card, we had to stop by the main taxi office where we got out of the cab. I paid him with my Visa. Now 60 euros transfers to roughly 
2100 Turkish Lira. So he did the conversion, that's what it was. I went back into the car, asked my wife, make sure, hey, that's what the conversion was. It was, everything was on the up and up. So we paid in Lira on the credit card, no more transaction fees, but I know that is 60 euros, which is a few dollars more in US dollars. I haven't done that conversion yet. And again, he was extremely honest about the conversion. We didn't have any issues there. And it, of course we verified it on Google really quickly, just to double check, just make sure it's people make mistakes and he immediately just returned us right back to our travel agency right where we were picked up from and remember we use google maps the entire time my wife has got t-mobile and she's got the plan that's in you know you get 215 plus countries there's no extra fee using the first five gigs of data and that's just slower free to text and then it's 25 cents a minute if we actually need to call someone overall both of us felt very humbled and kind of a little ashamed if we're being very truthful that we rushed to judgment and kind of harbored other reviewers opinions as our own and misjudged the wonderful people we met our particular experience was nothing but pleasant exceeded expectations it was very smooth Perfect. um no fast ones being tried to pull on us which we appreciate thank you, thank you. And we made sure to go back and personally thank the travel agency, the father and the son for their care of us. And we will link both the taxi driver and the company, the travel agency company, in the description below. Strongly advise that you book through them and we will also leave a very positive review on TripAdvisor. And if you wanna see exactly how it's located right around the corner to your right, you can see that in the raw footage as well. We're back where we got dropped off now. And for research purposes, for you, we had to walk around the port area a little bit. I want to see what the culture was like about having people kind of bring you into their place of businesses. And it was very true. We were told that that's what it was like. It's a cultural thing. And so we knew what to expect. So it didn't bother me. It didn't surprise me. What surprised me was people trying to sell me the perfume out of these black shopping bags. That surprised me, but everything is negotiable in the marketplace and with the travel agency. Just remember, all these parts, everything is negotiable. If you have euros, it's going to be a little bit easier. Now remember, Turkey is not part of the EU Union, so your cell phone might not work there. Uh, they do take euros uh, and they take Visa and MasterCard. They really like Visa cards, they don't like Amex, but they don't take American dollars. So here's where I'm gonna say I got a little disappointed, maybe with Royal Caribbean if you wanna be honest. We did go and get a port shopping map from the port shopping desk the night before just to see kind of was there recommended shops. And we learned that there is a hologram numbered sign that they display in their window as a quote unquote approved shopper by the cruise ship. These are also faked, we found out. So we purposefully chose two of the shops that displayed the hologram sticker in the window. And we looked through some jewelry, but we fairly quickly discovered they were also too good to be true. They were passing off pieces as being rare or one of a kind or real, and they were not. And for prices, we're talking like, hey, they want to charge us like, $2,100, $1,750 for one piece in particular necklace. Another ring that was very unique, it was four diamonds, little diamonds cut together, uh, 0.62 carats total, and they wanted nearly 4,000 US dollars for So in one of the shops, it turns out that this just was a coincidence. Our port shopping agent from Royal Caribbean was in one of those shops doing some business for the ship. And we had her come over and just kind of look at the piece we were looking at. And she very stealthily gave us the this is fake look and made a polite exit. So we did catch her outside and we learned some more information. Obviously, we did this all off camera for many different reasons. One, it just wouldn't be right to give her name, information, et cetera, et cetera, because she was very straightforward with us. And this has been the most straightforward 
support shopping expert that we've ever worked with in the past and typically we go visit them every single cruise mainly for free stuff so after catching her out outside we learned that what we were looking at was absolute garbage it was all fake nothing was real but she explained a little further that what royal caribbean recommends is for the rugs only and not the jewelry but what these shops do is they often share shops it's a shared space so they'll have the rug shop on one side and jewelry on the other or rugs upstairs and jewelry downstairs but because they're in the same building they get assumed that they're lumped together and pass themselves off as a recommended ship shop if you want to call it that when it's really not moral of the story don't buy jewelry in this port but feel free to certainly buy the rugs that are guaranteed by the ship yeah if you're in the market for a fine rug you know spend twenty thousand dollars go for it don't think they sell fake rugs but i don't know i didn't really look at them i got a bookmark though for a gift that was part of a rug so it's kind of like a Aladdin's magic carpet i think <laughs> we found these cute little rug-like bookmarks for two euros. One euro each. No, sorry. One euro each. We got two. They're really cute. They're small. They're little nice to have little things. And we found some actually really pretty coasters for two for five euros, I believe it was. Yes, we negotiated uh, from three euros outside to two for five euros each. And inside the close to the terminal area, they wanted five euros each for that. And pretty much everything that we priced compared for the the coasters, the table, spoon holder was double the price inside in the terminal area compared to right outside. These are five each. These are five each. We have five euros for two. So Super outside. Pays to go outside. Yeah, so same as we've had in other you know videos, we go a little bit outside of the right there at the port area, and the prices do go down. Now, one of the most pretty pieces that we saw was the waterfront walkway. So all along the coastline, there was these unique art pieces and some of the best ship pictures that you're going to get. There is a wide walking path with lots of little spots along the way for pictures. There was kind of this jut out of a rocky path that you can walk down to get an amazing ship pic for Instagram if you have Instagram but we don't have Instagram but we would post it on Instagram if we had Instagram are you mocking me maybe but the shops directly next to the port were actually a little higher as we said so go a little farther away and I just want to let you know how close I was just falling when I tried to take this selfie with my wife look at how close my foot was the artwork along the waterway was really unique, and I'll put some pictures in here of, of that as well. Like those big statues. What was your favorite statue? I loved the, the, the hand with the black and white doves. Yeah, she kind of saw some different statues uh, when we're leaving the port area in the taxi, and while well, I wanted to do the shopping, she wanted to go look at statues. I told her that they're not going anywhere. It's pretty art, it's culture. Okay, to recap for the time that we spent in port was a total of five hours, including our 10.30ish to 1.30ish self-led excursion and was back by the ship by 3.30. Now, to compare prices of our self-led excursion compared to the ship prices, we spent 60 euros round trip transportation, 28 euros to enter Ephesus ancient city, and seven euros on gifts. So a total was 85 euros for the day. However, only 78 euros for the self led excursion compared to ship prices of a minimum of what equates to be about 150 euros. So we only spent about one fourth of what others did on our ship, which means we saved about 225 euros. Yes, 225 euros by doing a self led excursion. And I will say some of these excursions were very, very short and some were extremely long. I mean, seven hours long, which is a lot of time to be kind of tied to an excursion. Yeah, and we didn't have to sit through a, a rug demonstration and get a sales pitch, which I was appreciative of. And almost every single excursion did that. I've heard that it can be interesting, which I'm cool with learning about it, but it ultimately ends up being a sales pitch. 
So make sure you click or tap your screen now for the self-led guide tour of Athens, Greece. We'll see you over in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. This is Brian and Mrs. Tips with Tips for Cruisers.